basically action research is uh, an inquiry into one's practice carried out by the person doing the practice so that they can use that data to improve their future practice. Um, it is the, the essence of the professional's process of learning through data. The things that I think have become important over the last 10 years. One is the importance of action research for school leaders. And so in the second edition, I wanted to talk to both how school leaders could use it to do action research on their own work and use it as a school improvement mechanism for their school. The second one is the movement towards uh, professional learning communities and collaborative teams. And I wanted to address more specifically about how teams can make use of the action research process. And, and those were uh, two dimensions that I really wanted to see enhanced in the second edition. In the action research guidebook, I've always wanted to do is to give steps for the action researcher, particularly the first time action researchers carrying out the process. But what I wanted to do was to have a richer array of examples, ones that went from use of it by leadership teams, by people in administrative positions, as well as classroom teachers. And so uh, what the second edition uh, has, I think, is, is a richer array of examples of the principles of action research and use.